Drugs, drive-by shootings, all a part of a gang war raging this summer in Los Angeles. But late this afternoon, after days of so-called gang summit meetings, a truce was announced by gang leaders themselves. Here's how KNBC's Fernell Chapman reported the story less than an hour ago. Well, for the first time in more than two decades, the colors red and blue were brought together by gang members themselves, and there was no violence. Instead of gunfire, there was talk and progress. Progress that could produce some peace. Clergymen and gang members met behind closed doors for three days and emerged with plans to initiate a truce between rival gangs. All of those involved are calling the gang summit a major success. And we're victorious because we worked out a solution and we have here two gangs of color who have, who have put their colors aside and joined hands to help stop the killing in our city. I can stand it right now with this brother. He'll crib true enough, but I can shake Eddie. his head. Wow. They need some kind of little camp programs and all that, you know, because they know they've been out their neighborhoods. You know, they know being part of the Magic Mountain. Give us jobs, and there won't be no more gang violence. There won't right. be no more ride by shooting. Jobs, economic development in South Central Los Angeles. That's what the gang members say is really needed to help end the violence. Gang members and the ministers say the foundation has been laid for peace, an end to drive-by shootings, they say. They have agreed to a seven-day truce, and they hope that truce can be extended. With jobs, they say, that's what they really need. And now they're claiming it's the business community's turn to respond. Reporting live from Carson, I'm Fernell Chapman.